what some is given and exam give given given example of give an example of number who itself are irrationals and product is rational give an example of two numbers which are irrational but their product is rational so i can take a is suppose i take h2 plus root 3 This is irrational. Suppose I take b is two minus root three. It is also irrational. Both are irrational. But if I find out the product of them, but product a into b is two plus root three into two minus root three. For rationalization. फैक्टर में आता है ना टू प्लस ए प्लस बी इंटू ए माइनस बी इज ए स्क्वायर दैट इज फोर माइनस बी स्क्वायर दैट इज थ्री दैट इज वन सो इट इज रेशनल ऐसे बहुत सारे एग्जांपल आप दे सकते हो टू प्लस रूट थ्री के जगह फाइव प्लस रूट फाइव फाइव माइनस रूट फाइव सेवन प्लस रूट टू सेवन माइनस रूट टू वाई दैट ए इज रूट टू एंड बी इज रूट एट टू रूट टू देन देर प्रोडक्ट इज ऑल्सो फोर there are many sums you can give now sum number 2 each child will get different different answer okay and all children are right if hcf of p and q is equal to 12 ha huh? and product of p and q is given in 90 900 sorry then what is lcm of p and q for that i can use the formula product of two number is equal to hcf into lcm so lcm of any two number is this formula is only applicable when two number are given ha huh? for more than two number this formula is not applicable lcm of p and q is p into q upon hcf of p and q So it is nine hundred divided by twelve. Nine hundred bit divided by twelve is fifty seventy five. So LCM of P and Q is seventy five. That complete the sum. Now third sum. These I have taken from reference book. Okay. Third is in a vidyale. It's a problem. You have to decide LCM. निकालना पड़ेगा या HCF. In a vidyale, there are three sections of class. Tenth, okay. In each section, there are three section of class A. Tenth section A, section B, and section C. Clear? Three sections are given. With section A, me kitne bache hain? Forty. Section B me thirty two. एंड सेक्शन सी में थर्टी सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स रिस्पेक्टिवली फाइंड द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ 
books. Find the minimum number of books required. Minimum shabda hai na. Matlab LCM mein kya aata hai? List, common, multiply. Minimum aya. Matlab we should find out LCM. Find the minimum number of books required for class library so that they can be distributed among them. They can be distributed among them. Now, total number of books required for library must be multiple of 40, multiple of 30 and multiple of 36. Clear? Total number of books required for library. वो लाइब्रेरी यूज तो करने वाले 10 स्टैंडर्ड के बच्चे हैं मस्ट बी अ मल्टीपल ऑफ मैं डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करूं तो सबको मिलनी चाहिए बुक मल्टीपल ऑफ 40 आल्सो एज वेल एज 32 आल्सो एज वेल एज 36 क्लियर Therefore, we should find out what should we should find out for this answer LCM. That judgment is very important. 32 and 36. We should find out LCM of three number. And LCM of three number nikalna hai to you applied prime factorization method. 40 can be expressed as 2 cube into 5. 32 can be expressed as 2 raised to 5. 36 can be expressed as 2 raised to 2 into 3 raised to 2. I have written prime factorization. LCM is product of all the factors with highest power. So 2 ka highest power 5, 3 ka highest power 2 and 5 ka 1. So my answer is 1440. Therefore required Number of books in library are 1440. Itne books minimum chahi. Then and then it can be distributed among all. Sum number 4. They said without actual performing division. Jo humne textbook mein kiya tha. Without number are different. Actually performing without actually performing the long division. Division ni karna hai. State the following rational, the following number will be, will have terminating or recurring decimal expansion. Okay? Check karna hai. And write only terminating जो terminating decimal expansion है उसका ही expansion लिखने का not recurring recurring you have done in your 9th standard okay recurring में तो बारी है 
Now, first sum is 16 by 204. Okay? 204 can be expressed as 2 raised to 2 into 3 raised to 1 into 17 raised to 1. So, here 17 is one of the factor, 3 is another factor. So, it is non-terminating recurring. Okay? A non-terminating recurring hai. इसलिए उसका एक्सपेंशन अपने को लिखना नहीं है क्लियर नाउ सेकंड सम 21 बाय 750 इट्स नॉट इन अ रिड्यूस फॉर्म सो मेक इट रिड्यूस 73 जा 253 जा नाउ इट इज 7 बाय 250 नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू मेक इट अ यू सी दिस 250 इफ आई टेक it, it can be expressed as 2 raised to a, 1 into 5 raised to 3. So, it implies it terminating, okay? It is terminating decimal. So, I have to express in a decimal form. So, niche hai, uh, 250. Matlab 2 raised to 1 into 5 raised to 3. In order to make it a 10 raised to 3, I have to multiply it with 2 raised to 2 into only 2 raised to 2. So, that is 4. I multiplied both n and d by 4. So, it is 28 by 1000. It can be written as 0 0.028. Clear? Now, third sum. It is 19 by 250. 250 again can be written as 2 raised to 1 into 5. So, again we have to multiply it with 4. It is Terminating, this decimal is also terminating because 250 into 4 by 4. So, it is 76 by 1000. So, it is 0 point, point 0.076. Clear? Now, first sum is given as 52 by 5000. अगर मैं रिड्यूस करूंगी करने की जरूरत नहीं है इधर मैं रिड्यूस कर अगर मैं 2500 को बना दूं तो 5 रेस्ट टू 4 इनटू 2 रेस्ट टू 2 सो आई हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई विद 2 रेस्ट टू 2 इन ऑर्डर टू मेक 10 रेस्ट टू 4 सो आई मल्टीप्लाईड बोथ बाय 2 बाय 2 सो इट इज 104 बाय 10000 ओके सो इट इज 0.0104 and this is terminating decimal, okay? Clear? Agar isko reduce karna hai, to reduce bhi kar sakte hai. 26 by 2500. 0, 52 upon 5000. Can be written at 26 by 2500. And 2500 is of the form 2 raised to m into 5 raised to n. So, it is terminating, okay? Now, I am giving you one big problem. Fifth sum is, Mina takes, a garden wala ek sum karvaya tha na mene? Mina takes 63 minutes to walk one round of the ground on the circular track. While Sita takes 77 minutes abhi wo library wala tha na wo hi hai to walk one round usme to hint de diya tha minimum karke on the same track this type of sum was there in our textbook suppose both 
start at the same both start at the same time same point and at the same time and go in the here direction is also very important same direction bachpan mein wo train wale sam kiye the na aapne opposite direction mein difference sam hota hai aur same direction mein sab difference hota hai same direction after how many minutes लास्ट लेक्चर में मैंने सेम सम किया था विल दे मिट अगेन एट दी स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट सम का लेंथ जितना है ना सॉल्यूशन का लेंथ इतना नहीं है सेम पॉइंट नाउ सी what to do tell me here we have done same in next textbook same sum we have done in textbook here we have to take have to find lcm of 63 and 77 yaad hai maine bola tha suppose mina takes x round एंड सीता टेक्स वाई राउंड तो सिक्सटी थ्री इंटू एक्स इज सेवेंटी सेवन इंटू वाई इज इक्वल टू सम नंबर एंड देट नंबर मस्ट बी इक्वल टू एल सी एम देन यू विल गेट हाउ मेनी राउंड दे हैव टेकन फाइंड एल सी एम ऑफ दिस एंड सिक्सटी थ्री का मैं प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन करूंगी तो क्या आएगा थ्री स्क्वायर इंटू सेवन रेस टू वन एंड सेवेंटी सेवन का क्या आएगा सेवन रेस टू वन इंटू इलेवन रेस टू वन ओके सो एच सी एल सी एम में क्या आएगा थ्री रेस टू टू इंटू सेवन इंटू इलेवन सो इट इज कमिंग सिक्स नाइन्टी थ्री सो आफ्टर सिक्स नाइन्टी थ्री मिनिट्स आफ्टर सिक्स नाइन्टी थ्री मिनिट्स दे मीट अगेन दिस इज द आंसर आफ्टर सिक्स नाइन्टी थ्री मिनिट दे मीट अगेन एट द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट सम की साइज देखो सोल्यूशन तो दो लाइन में ओके ओनली द जजमेंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि कहा एस सी एफ निकालने का कहा एल सी एम निकालने का क्लियर लाइन बनानी है मैक्सिमम लाइन मैक्सिमम कोलम मैक्सिमम शब्द है तो एच सी एफ मिनिमम बुक्स रिक्वायर्ड राइट After how much time? After how many minutes they meet again at the same point? This type of sum is LCM. Clear? Now see sum number six. Prove that one and only one. Out of p p plus two or p plus four is divisible by three, where p is any. पॉजिटिव इंटीजर दिस सम इज टू बिग हा हियर पी इज एनी पॉजिटिव इंटीजर ओके टेक बी स्त्री 
and apply Euclid division lemma. Okay, by Euclid division lemma, I can write P as 3Q plus R, where R is between close interval 0 to 3. Matlab, R can take value 0, 1, 2. So, my P, P can be written in a form 3Q or P can be of the form 3Q plus 1 or P can be of the form 3Q plus 2, ok. Now, case number 1. If P is 3Q, suppose, P is 3Q, then this P is divisible by 3? P is 3Q, then it is divisible by 3, but P plus 2, then P plus 2 is 3Q plus 2. It divides, it divided by 3, when it is divided by 3, it leaves remainder, Suppose I take P plus 4, then it is 3Q plus 4, that is 3 times Q plus 1, plus 1. So when divided by 3, leaves remainder 1. So in case 1, when P is 3Q, only P is divisible by 3. P plus 2 and P plus 4 are not divisible by. That we want to prove. K out of P, P plus 2 and P plus 4, only 1 is divisible by 3. So when P is 3Q, only P is divisible by 3. Clear? Clear? Now, case 2. If P is 3Q plus 1, then P is not divisible by 3. Why? Because when 3q plus 1 is divided by 3, it leaves remainder 1. But if I take p plus 2, p plus 2 is 3q plus 1 plus 2. So it is 3q plus 3. So 3 common, it is q plus 1. So is divisible by... Clear? And if I take p plus 4, P plus 4 is 3Q plus 1 plus 4. So it is 3Q plus 5. So it is 3Q plus 5. Is equal to 3 times Q plus 1 plus 2. So when divided by 3, leaves remainder. When divided by 3, leaves remainder. Clear? So, case 2 may, case 2 may only P plus 2 is divisible by 3. Okay? Clear? Now, case 3. If P is 3q plus 2, then p is not divisible by, by 3, because when it divides by 3, it leaves remainder 2, clear? But, p plus 2 can be written as 3q plus 2 plus 2. So again it is 3q plus 4. 
it can be written as 3 times q plus 1 plus 1. Here also leaves remainder 1. Therefore, p plus 2 is not divisible by 3. Clear? Now, let us check p plus 4. देखो दो not divisible है तो तीसरा तो divisible आना ही चाहिए p plus 4 is 3 cube plus 2 plus 4 so it is 3 cube plus 6 so it is 3 times q plus 2 when 3 common it is q plus 2 is divisible by 3 so in case 3 Only p plus 4 is, is divisible by 3. Therefore, therefore, 1 and only 1 out of p p plus 2 or p plus 4 is divisible by by 3 in all 3 cases. So by taking all 3 cases I proved 1 and only 1 out of p, p plus 2 and p plus 4 is divisible by 3. Clear? Such a big sum. Now sum number 7 I am giving you it is of the true false type question. You have to say the following statement are true or false with explanation why it is false. Okay. First is 29 and 31 are co-prime. You tell me is it true or not? Yes. It is true. Why it is true? Because HCF of both is 1. HCF of 29 and 31 is 1. Second sum. Root 441 is irrational number. It is false. Why it is false? Because root 441 is, is a perfect square of 21. And 21 is a, a rational number, okay? So given statement is false. Now third one is, if x square is 0 0.9, imply, sorry, when, x is a rational. This is the statement given. x square is 0 0.9 when x is a rational number. It is a false statement. Why it is a false? Because x is square root of 0 0.9 which is not rational. number okay it is not a rational number because it is not a point nine is not a perfect square now fourth twenty seven by two one ten let me reduce each terminating bullai each a terminating decimal false this is a false statement because 27 by 2, 1, 10 can be, you can reduce like 9 by 70. And 70 can be written as 5 raised to 1 into 2 raised to 1 into 7 raised to 1. So 7 is a one of the factor. And 7 is a factor of Q. Matlab, 
it is not terminating clear now fifth hcf of 60 and 116 is 4 this is true kaise true aap hcf nikalo 60 can be written as 2 square into 3 raised to 1 into 5 raised to 1 by method of prime factorization you find out hcf 2 raised to 2 into 29 so my hcf common factor is 2 and lowest power is 2 so it is 4 clear so that complete your true false type question okay now sum number 8 After how many decimal places the decimal expansion seventy five upon two cube into five raised to cube. Will terminate. पूछा है कितने नंबर ऑफ डेसिमल प्लेसिस के बाद इट कैन टर्मिनेट अब सेवेंटी फाइव अपॉन टू इंटू टू इंटू टू इंटू फाइव इंटू फाइव इंटू फाइव सो इट इज सेवेंटी फाइव बाय टेन क्यूब ओके सो इट इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन डेसिमल में कन्वर्ट कर दिया तो आई कैन से आंसर में क्या आएगा आफ्टर थ्री डेसिमल प्लेसिस डेसिमल एक्सपांजन विल बी Will terminating, okay? Because without expansion, how we can I I say? After three decimal places of decimal expansion, it will terminate. It will terminate. Think me. It will be terminating. It will be terminating. Okay. Now nine question is write down prime factorization of three seven eight. So I should write down three seven eight zero like this. Go on dividing by two one eight nine zero. But show eight standard ke method nine four five. Then three se karenge to three one five. Then three se karenge to one zero five. Then three se karenge to thirty five. Then five se karenge to seven. Then seven se karenge to one. 